Good morning, it is another day. We're gonna start this morning off with uh, doing some laundry. Yes, this is the laundry that I did yesterday. It's dried. To be fair, some of them were air drying, so I couldn't, you know, fold them all straight away. But it just takes so much willpower to do your laundry, dry your laundry, fold your laundry, and put your laundry back all in the same day, all within a matter of hours. How does one do that? <sighs> Oh my god, I've got to fold this like mattress cover as well. These are impossible to fold. Say you want to be somebody, sick of being told what to do. And ta-da, all done. Mine and his. It's funny because his entire wardrobe is just gray as further proven by this like how many gray t-shirts can you own so i bought a bunch of flowers yesterday when i went to find some groceries just to put in the kitchen table because that's where we're mostly working just to add a spruce of color into the kitchen because it's quite bare and plain and just to make the working space a little brighter because i always love fresh flowers and i noticed there's these like orange stemmy flowers blooming in our front garden so i'm gonna chop some of those and behind our house i don't know i think it's a common tree there's some purple flowers so I might try to steal some of those or see if anyone fell to the ground. And uh, we're going to try and make a bouquet. A bouquet. Look, these are the flowers. Aren't they pretty? I wish I like realized I could have gotten free flowers earlier because now a lot of them are dropping to the floor. But I think they look beautiful, my bouquet. no kind of sauce pasta. I saw it on my friend Enya's Instagram. I'll attach the photo here. Her one's vegan friendly. My one is not. So we have spinach leaves. We have chopped tomatoes, mushrooms, a lot of garlic and onion. <laughs> my last pack of pasta from before everything happened. I'm gonna use some garlic salt as well. And here, <laughs> looks a bit dodgy. I have some tapioca powder because she said to use roux, R-O-U-X. Oh no, I broke it, all this white powder's coming out. She said to use roux, which is like a mixture of flour and water, I guess to like thicken the sauce of the pasta. So because cornstarch and corn flour is sold out, I got some tapioca powder. I guess I'll just pour it out of this little hole that I made and I'm gonna mix it with some water and then hopefully when we make the pasta, the sauce will be a bit thicker. I'll let you know how it goes. sprouts out they should be very crispy this time mean girls is on pasta is ready
Why are you stopping? I'm not, I'm doing it! You're not crunching? I am! I can't do that crunch because I use too much of my neck. Come on, let's go. Do a real crunch. This is not crunch. No rest. What are you doing? Play. Oh, Mikey. Yes, you just wasted 10 seconds. <laughs> Come on, last exercise. We did this already. <laughs> Cute, my walking outfit is. How are you feeling after your first day of 14 days? Are you gonna do it with me tomorrow? No, <laughs> That's a no. My Sunday breakfast. Does one day of the app challenge think he deserves this? This is lunch. Chippy. It's 12.30. <laughs> So I just got delivered this lovely cake that I ordered from Gula Gula Cakes. Let's hope I don't drop it. Um, and which is made by Eliza. She does beautiful cakes for weddings, birthdays, and everything. And when I saw she was releasing kind of like mini cakes that you could eat in like four to six servings. Just a lot of servings, but I'ma eat it. And I was really craving cake. I was like, I'm gonna order one for myself. So I ordered it and now here it is. And it's super cute and I wanted to show you guys. So she's got three designs at the moment. I chose this one, this two shall pass with the rainbow. And there's one that says wash your hands with like ducks and water on top. And there's another design too. It looks kind of big here, but my hand's really small. So it's actually a really small cake like that. So yeah, I might like go deliver some to my mum and then eat the rest myself. I don't think it eats apples. I found a little lizard. Look at his little toes. Oh, the tail, look, the tail does look like it's broken off. Yeah, it's really stuck. So I just finished a one hour call with Bebe on WeChat call. We were chatting a lot of the time, but we were recording our podcast for the week. So all you do is we call on WeChat call and then she records on her phone on her end. And then I'll record on either GarageBand or my phone or on my end. Um, because I do find the iPhone quality for recording sound is sometimes better than a microphone or a laptop. And then she'll send me her portion and then I'll ed edit it with like background music and inserts and I'll put both of our conversations together. Okay, so now I'm just talking to Bebe about our podcast and sorry, I was looking at how to call these bean curd sticks in Chinese. Apparently it's like fu zhu or something because we're trying to do hot pot. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final product. Here's our intro. This is all me speaking. I've cut out all the in-between noises because sometimes I'll like tap on my computer or I'll breathe too loudly or I'll overlap talk over Bebe. Um, and then this is Bebe's audio. And these bits in between are either like song inserts, like we talked about the Cardi B coronavirus song remix. So then I inserted a little clip of that. So I'll add in a little clip of that. So that's about it. And then I export it and then I send it to Bebe and then she uploads it to Shimalaya, which um, at the same time simultaneously uploads to Apple Podcasts. We all know how long these certificates have been hanging right here. It's only taken one year. Look who finally bought a frame and is framing them up. Ask me if he needs to center it on the paper. What do you, th yeah, put it in the middle. We got takeaway from Chin Chin's. This is the first time we haven't had to wait three hours to eat Chin Chin's, yeah. I'll like go in at 6.30 and line up and they'll be like, we'll let you know, 9.30, your table is ready. 
What is that? Pad Noodles? Thai. Pad Thai? And what else we got on offer tonight? Ooh, Supreme. Get them pineapples off. Good morning. I'm trying on a new mask this morning. It is the Dr. Jer... Jer? Dr. Jart Sicker Pear Calming Mask. I know they have like a whole Sicker Pear series, um, which I think the key ingredient helps to soothe irritated, dry, like sensitive skin and redness because my skin goes red really easily. Like even if I'm brushing my teeth and like the toothpaste around the corners of my mouth here touch, then it goes red, especially my chin here, here. Um, and I thought I'd try out the mask because I really do like the Dr. Jart masks. I don't know if you can tell, but this mask is actually like tinted green a bit, which none of the other masks are a tinted color, but yeah. I'm gonna leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and I shall look like a beautiful green goddess afterwards. And I'm gonna put the leftover juices of this mask on my dry legs. <laughs> Mom, take these ones, you need them. Stop it! Stop it! What is it? Is that from the couch? Ew! <laughs> Get in the crack! <laughs> well, it is almost the end of March. It is the last week of March and I think it's time to take down our outdoor Christmas decorations. Look, I was gonna save them for next year so I wouldn't have to purchase them again, but then we had that big hailstorm, so all these baubles kind of got battered and ruined. And then the other time I was gonna remove it and then I saw a huge spider on it. So that delayed it by another month. But here we are, better late than never. Also guys, my tripod arrived. This one holds an iPhone. So be ready for a lot of pictures of me with the tripod just taking pictures of me around the house you know could have one against this background against me hedge with me bins the possibilities are endless <laughs> 